Hey guys, Jaber 62 here, and this is Excavation Update Week 7. Alright guys, so first off, uh, sorry that I couldn't get a video for uh, last week, but I uh, just wanted to let you guys know that I am a bit busy. I have a whole bunch of midterms coming up, and I am studying for those currently. I didn't have enough time last week because I really wanted to focus on studying, but I figured I had some time today that I could get the video out, so uh, I hope this makes up for it. So first off, uh, as I showed before on zombie modding, this is the uh, and uh, this is the Black Ops HUD that I've created. Uh, it's got the score bar, uh, the weapon ammo, and all that, and everything's in the correct spots as for what was set in Black Ops. Unfortunately, there are limitations to the World at War engine, which prevents the like the grenades from doing the uh, four image overlapping. See how I have a uh, I have four grenades, but it's the number four instead of having four grenade icons. I'm unsure of how to do that, uh, but uh, I'm sure it'd be possible. But it would, it, I would have to script it instead of using the actual uh, the HUD file. So the next thing I wanted to show you guys was uh, I got Mule Kick working, and we can thank Swayze for that. We're using his script for that, and this is not uh, like the type of uh, Mule Kick that would give you an extra weapon. And then, like, say I have my Colt and my Olympia in the scripts, it would give me a third weapon, not a third weapon slot. So this actually gives you a third weapon slot, so that like, if I buy the perk, I will still only have the Olympia and the Colt. But then, when I buy, say, the MP5K, then I will get a third weapon. So here, I'll drink the perk. I still only have the Olympia and the Colt. But then, when I buy the MP5K, I have the MP5K, the Olympia, and the Colt. Alright, so now I have a uh, quick revive just so I can show off what happens if I get down. So still, I might mule kick, MP5K, Olympia, and the Colt. So three weapons, so I'll go down here. So still using Bam Skater's uh, Quick Revive right now. I'm gonna be stripping my own, but this is it for now. So, and now I'm left with two weapons, the Colt and the MP5K. The next thing I'm gonna be showing off is a uh, fix that I did for PhD Flopper. And so before, uh, and this actually occurred in Overrun, which I might do an update for, uh, it had a PhD flopper so that it would work for not taking explosive damage. However, uh, even though the grenades or launchers or whatever it was couldn't kill you, it would bring your health down to almost zero so that when the zombie hit you, it would pretty much just kill you, like one hit. Pretty annoying, so I've got a little fix in there. So as you can see, I just got hit, and I can still take hits right after, and it doesn't make any difference whatsoever. Okay, so the area that I was showing off at the beginning of the video there, uh, it is actually a continuation of the stamina up area, which is right off of our uh, cool-looking start of the mine shaft down there. So we got our stamina up here, and I still need to finish off the cave ceiling. Uh, the terrain patches do take a long time to work with. It's not as easy as using a brush. Uh, so this is kind of going with like uh, the mine style. I like having the wood and the metal going together. It clashes pretty good. Uh, this might be where mule or speed cola is going to be located. Uh, and for now, I just have these guys spawn in the afternoon block it off, but I do plan on having that being a way to go for the characters, but I'm probably going to have uh, viable debris here, so this is just showing off the next area. Next up, uh, this has probably been the biggest uh, thing that I've been working on this week, and that would have to be the crossbow and its upgraded version which uh, attracts the monkey bombs, or attracts like monkey bombs. So, uh, I do have a small effect playing off it, but it doesn't really show up that well. Uh, 
Yeah, let's see if I can get it to go on the wall. It's playing on the tip of it, so it's really hard to see. And it's only if it gets stuck in like the right position. So I'm thinking about... I'm not sure if the effect plays off of the... Uh, what is it? The, the tip or the tail of the arrow. So, and it probably would make more sense for it to play off the uh, tail of it because the tip's inside of whatever it is. So I might just switch it over to that. But if I hit a zombie with it, it blows up. And he'll take out everybody around him too. And it is the same blast radius as uh, Bouncing Betty. So pretty good, I guess. So this is the upgraded version of the crossbow, and uh, so when you shoot the ground, uh, the zombies actually will go towards the bolt, which is exactly how it is in Black Ops. Similarly to the crossbow is the thumbtex. So I got these working just like the ones that uh, are in Black Ops, they will stick to the zombie, they blow up. They got a flashing effect and everything. Uh, they did require a bit of scripting because even though sticky grenades are already in World at War, uh, getting them to actually stick to a zombie, that requires a bit of scripting. Uh, the other thing I'd like to mention about Semtex is that they do replace frag grenades, so they will be as a primary grenade slot. Um, you don't get them out of the box, you'll get them off the wall, just like in Black Ops. And I've already scripted this, so this already works. Uh, when when you progress through a round and you have Semtex, it'll give you two Semtex uh, instead of giving you two frag grenades. So that does work. Uh, lastly, I'm going to mention that I've uh, put a couple more weapons in the map, uh, n which not including the crossbow and the Semtex. These are the Commando and its upgraded version, and the Stakeout and its upgraded version, which I did cover these last week in a couple of pictures, uh, since I did a kind of a small update, no video update last week. Uh, this week I have added in the HK21 and its upgraded version. I have also added in the Python, still working with its animations right now, they're a little messed up. Uh, and I have not made the upgraded version for that yet, but I'm working on that. I've also fixed a couple of the previous guns that were already included in the map, uh, mainly for texturing. Uh, and so here we are, we have the AK-74U upgraded. Uh, it's reticle and all that works perfectly now. Uh, I have just done the MP40 with the new lava texture, so this is its upgraded version. Uh, I've also fixed the Galil and its reticle. And I've also fixed the Famous and its reticle. So all of these weapons now are, should be what the finalized versions of those weapons look like. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed the, this week's update. And be sure to subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. See ya.